Thermal decomposition quiz. Question number one. Write the formula for the compound copper carbonate. The answer is CuCO3. Question number two. What is the color of copper carbonate? Copper carbonate is green in color, as you can see from the picture. Question number three. When copper carbonate is heated, what is produced? It produces copper oxide and carbon dioxide. Question number four. Are there any observations during this reaction? There is a color change from green copper carbonate to black copper oxide and a bubbling of gas as carbon dioxide is passed through lime water. Question number five. What is the test for the gas produced in the reaction? The lime water starts to turn milky in the presence of carbon dioxide. Question number six. What type of reaction is thermal decomposition? It was an endothermic reaction. Question number seven. Sam is investigating the time taken for carbon dioxide to be given off for different metal carbonates. Name the independent and dependent variables in this investigation. The independent variable is the metal carbonate and the dependent variable is the time taken for carbon dioxide to be produced. Question number eight. Name three variables the students should keep constant to make the investigation fair. The control variables would be the mass of metal carbonate, the volume of lime water, and the flame on the Bunsen burner. Question number eight. Write the chemical formula of copper carbonate thermally decomposing. CuCO3 gives CuO and CO2. Question number 9. Predict the mass of copper oxide if 500 grams of copper carbonate is used and 100 grams of carbon dioxide is given off. Due to the law of conservation of mass, the mass before the reaction, which is 500 grams, is equal to the mass after the reaction, which is also 500 grams. If 100 grams is taken up by carbon dioxide, then copper oxide is going to be 500 minus 100, which is 400 grams. Question number 10. By looking at the table, what can you conclude about the reactivity of the metals in the metal carbonate? Sodium carbonate did not decompose because sodium is located above calcium, zinc, iron, and copper in the reactivity series. So it forms a very stable carbonate that cannot decompose at the low temperatures achieved on the Bunsen burner. On the other hand, copper carbonate took the least time to decompose because copper is below calcium, zinc, iron and sodium in the reactivity series. So it forms a very weak carbonate that quickly decomposes. Congratulations! You finished the plant cell quiz. How many questions did you get right?
If it's 8 to 10, amazing. If it's 4 to 7, good job. And if it's between 1 to 3, you might want to try again. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and give a like. I'll see you in the next one. And also, if you're interested in chemistry, have a look at some of my chemistry quizzes.